One day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. Their mother effing died. <laughs> Life is not easy being a queer person of color. The first stage, the rejection, self-sabotage. The second, the discovery. We'll explore ourselves. And the third, the acceptance. Each stage is a process. I know a lot of people get to the third stage because we're afraid of losing the people we loved. And that is okay too. So this is my goddamn story. Um, you must be Catalea. Yes. Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you. My name's Tinny. I'm the youth worker and counselor for this house. Uh, come with me. Let me show you around. I was expecting your arrival. So this place is for LGBTQ youth with no support from their parents. For youth that just need a place to stay for the night. Um, it was created by the Rainbow Organization. Yeah, here's the kitchen. Uh, we were just about to eat. Are you hungry? Okay. Guys, uh, this is Catalea. They will be staying with us for a while. Hi, Catalea. Hi. We're almost done studying for dinner. Yeah, I'm hungry. Okay, well, let me go bring Catalea to their room first, and then we can all eat together. So this is going to be your room. My room is downstairs. Uh, Sarah and Alora's rooms are downstairs too. Uh, we do we tend to do lots of activities together like cooking, bowling, working out, lots. Do you have any questions? No, sounds good so far. Okay, well, make yourself comfortable. Okay, come join us for dinner when you're ready.
I'm coming. Help yourselves. Thank you. So, Catalea, where are you from? Nigeria. Where you there? By Diego and Laura, you cannot just ask people about their sexual orientation. I was just curious. People from Nigeria usually don't support the LGBTQ community. It's okay. I'm gay. Welcome to the crew. What are your pronouns? Dana. Are you like one of us? What do you mean? Like the rejected? You guys, stop calling yourselves the rejected. Each one of us at this table has been rejected by our parents. Yeah, and that's why Diego is so messed up. <laughs> Alora, be nice. It's okay, Mr. Laura's just crazy. Um, well, I don't talk to my dad anymore. Guys, the food's getting cold. Sarah and Diego, you both owe me $60 because I was right. Right about what? Uh, they bet on Kathalea to see if they were part of our crew, the rejected. Well, my mom didn't, um, accepted me, so yeah. You guys owe me 60 bucks. Damn! What, wait, why did your mom accept you but not your dad? Alora? Do you have daddy issues? Alora? I bet because you're not good enough for Zaddy. Alora! <laughs> Excuse me? Are you being serious right now? What do you just say? Say it one more time for me. Why do you think you know so much about me? You know what? I'm not hungry. You guys, this is not good. Betting and playing these games will not be tolerated in this house. And Alora, what you said to Catalea was really rude. You owe them an apology. And you guys, stop calling yourselves the rejected because I love you guys. Just because your parents didn't accept you doesn't mean that you are rejected. There are people in this world that are gonna love and appreciate you like I do, okay? I mean it. That's why we love you, Mama Bear. Can we eat now? I was mad. I was so mad. But anyways, I, I don't blame them. It's not their fault. Back to the story. I went into my room. I locked the door. And then Miss Timmy came knocking on my door, saying that she wanted to apologize. But I wasn't ready for a conversation. I needed space at that time. So she respected my space. So I went on Grinder and decided I wanted, I wanted a distraction at that particular moment in time. So I talked with this guy. His name was Leo. And then after a few conversations, we decided that we wanted to meet up. So I decided to meet up with a stranger. Hey, uh, Catalea, right? Hi. Hey, uh, nice to meet you. Come on in. Nice to meet you, too. Sure. Nice place. Yeah, uh, thanks. You, you know, 
Is it anywhere you like? Do you want a, like a drink or anything? Um, maybe just water? Yeah. Um, can I sit closer to you? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want to do? Maybe let's go with the flow. Because, like, Papa come and scary to meet up with a stranger in Nigeria. Damn, so you're from Nigeria? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> what about you? I'm from Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we can play a game um, where I ask you some questions and you just answer. Um, what is your dream? Um, well, my dream is to become an icon, a <laughs> rapper. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Um, truth or dare? Um, truth. Do you have a, are you single? Yeah, of course. My turn. No, 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 no. In this game, I ask the questions, you just answer them. Truth or dare? Um, dare? I dare you to let me touch your face. Truth or dare? Dare? I dare you to let me kiss you. Um, <laughs> I'm not comfortable. Hey, come on, it's just one kiss. You didn't come all the way here for nothing. Yeah, we just met, so hey, maybe another come on, day. I, I like you. Yeah, but you just laugh. No. Oh! You alright? I'm sorry, I gotta go. Where'd you go? You scared me! What are you doing here? I asked you a question. I went to go see a friend. On your first day in Canada? Yeah, I met them at the airport. <laughs> Interesting. You suck at lying. Why are you here and what are you doing here? Did you actually follow me all the way here? Well, yeah. Once you join the crew, we gotta stick together. I, am I in trouble? Did Miss me sent you? No. I saw you leaving, so I decided to follow you. That's creepy. At least I'm not the one lying about hooking up with some stranger. I didn't. Your mouth is saying no, but your pants are saying yes. Wait. No! Hey, I'm sorry. S sorry about what? I'm tired of you f following me around and I I'm tired of you acting like my mom because you are not my mom. Wow. Calm down. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of you acting like you care about me because no one truly care about you unless it benefit them. Whatever makes you feel better, jerk. You, you are the jerk. You're I'm... an asshole. You know what? I'm going home. Whatever. What's that? None of your business. That's cocaine, isn't it? If you tell Mama Bear, she'll kill me. But if you can keep my secret, I'll keep your booty call secret too. Wow. Okay. Where are you going? A New Year's Eve party. You coming? Well, what about Miss Timmy? <laughs> Don't worry about her. She's sleeping. Plus, a Lawrence Hill will meet us there. Let's go. Okay. Diego! Wait! Where are you going? I went to you guys' room and you just disappeared. I'm going to the party. Well, I thought we were supposed to go together. If I'm being honest, I don't know if I want to go because my mom and dad might be there. Come on, we're already here. Are you afraid of being rejected? Are you serious right now? I'm not the one running away from mommy and daddy. You know what? You deserve a slap. Yes, she started it. We're all family. It's they them, you asshole. I don't care who started it. Enough. Whatever. Come on, let's go. Mom 
and done. You're obviously not here, but you should really think about coming home again. This is not the time and place for this conversation. What's up? There's booze over there, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Alex, what do you think about it? Oh, darling, please. I told you to get rid of that look, but you never listen to me. No, I do not listen to my sister okay, she's always like that. Okay. Hi, don't be keeping your drinks all the time, good. Thanks, bye. Mwah. Mwah. Guys, meet my new bestie. I mean, we just mm -hmm. met about like five minutes ago, but come on, look at it. He lives right across the hall. His mm -hmm. name is also Alex! <laughs> By the way, you guys look Thank you. You guys are weird. Okay, come on. I need a drink. Did he just call Squid? Why are you at my party? I hate you. I hate you. Leo, do you think we're weird? He loves my weirdness. Are you? Oh, Alex told me. Oh, you. Nice. You addition to the family! Like that. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Like you gotta go. I'm not living. No, I mean you're, you are. Living. I am not living. <laughs> Nothing. It, it was just telling me how amazing you are. What is your name again? Diego. I feel like dancing. Let's go dance. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Good conversation. Okay, well, let's go dance. Um, just give me a second, alright? Okay. You look better that way. We have nothing to talk about. No, 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 no. You don't care. Don't to touch me and don't me. disrespect me. Don't speak to me when I'm trying to speak to you. Maybe I need to tell your girlfriend how you cheated on her. Threatening me? Oh, that's not a threat. The next time you talk to me, disrespect me, and treat me like shit. Oh, I promise you. I'm from Ninja. We're not a play. My play. Leo, stop! You're hurting me! Next time you speak, when I'm speaking, I will break you. Oh, I need to. Let's go. 
Am I okay? Am I okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Everything felt like it was my fault. Like I did that. That I caused it. But I didn't. It's not my fault that I, I wanted some attention. I just wanted to make some friends or whatever. But you know what? I don't blame nobody but my dad. It's your fault for not taking care of me. It's your fault for not protecting me. It's your fault. You caused this. You did this. I was so scared. I was so freaking scared. But there was no one, no fucking body that understood what I was going, what I was going through at that particular time. But anyways, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> it's already happened. So, Sarah went to call Diego. And Diego came rushing in. He started asking me so many questions. Are you okay, Catalaya? Are you okay? What happened? Who did this to you? Tell me, talk to me, please. I couldn't say a word. Not even one word. All I was thinking at that particular time was, I just want to go home. I just want to go home. I just want to goddamn go home. I felt so lonely. So he looked me in the eyes and said, Catalea, I got you. You are not alone. That's what Diego said to me. He gave me a hug. That was the first time I felt like someone actually truly give a shit about me. So, he got mad and left the washroom and told Alora and Sarah to take me home. to be okay. I'm sorry about what I said at the dinner table. I didn't mean it. It's okay. I'm sorry too. Whoever did this will pay. Are you okay? Why are you covered in blood? What happened? It's done. Oh, Zaina. 
Oh, Zaina. Oh, Zaina. Where the fuck you at?